This is StormTrack 12. What a difference a day makes. Yesterday we were in the 40s and 50s at this time, and now we're all the way down into the lower 20s as it has cooled off from where we were yesterday. Still a very breezy northwest wind as well, near 15 miles an hour, making it feel more like it's in the teens out there. There's those temperatures in the 20s, even maybe a few 30s still out there in Owego and Appalachian, but the rest of us have dropped down into those upper 20s and really not dropped that far this afternoon. We struggled to get back to near 30 degrees, and there's that 24 hour temperature change. The front had already moved through much of western New York at this time yesterday, but for many of us in eastern New York, a 20 degree temperature change, maybe even more than that from where we were this time yesterday. And again, those winds are still pretty breezy out there. They're going to start to die down the farther in the night we go, but it's going to still make it feel pretty chilly on this Saturday night. Now things again have been pretty quiet across the entire viewing area and the entire northeast for that matter, and it stayed pretty cloudy though. And though the radars are picking up on this, there has been like a light mist with a few flakes mixing in out there. That should slowly slowly dissipate down tonight as well, but otherwise again, things have remained pretty quiet. Now again, the wind is going to start to die down tonight into the day tomorrow as we have a quiet conditions at least until we get into the overnight tomorrow. That's when light snow will arrive and stick with us all the way through Christmas Eve as we're going to lead up to Christmas potentially with a white Christmas as we'll have maybe a few inches on the ground by Tuesday. Let's check that out here on future track again tonight. Just going to have the clouds hanging around all the way into the day tomorrow. Now we could have a few pockets, especially off to the east of some more sunshine than clouds, but again, mainly going to be a mostly cloudy sky for many of us all the way through the day tomorrow. As we near 10 o'clock, that's when we're going to start to see the first round of snow make its way up from the south and west, really filling in the farther into the night we go and into the early morning hours as well on Christmas Eve and we're going to have the on and off snow shower activity all the way into the morning there on Christmas Eve and the afternoon. So Santa might be flying through a few flakes as he delivers presents on Monday night. Temperatures we're going to be in those middle 20s tonight trying to warm up as we go through the day tomorrow. It's near the freezing mark for the most part and then check it out too. As the snow starts to arrive, we'll cool down at least at first, but then temperatures will steady out and pretty much stay near freezing as we go into the day on Monday. Now for tonight, again, it's going to be a little colder than that. Middle 20s as we'll have the breezy winds still out there. There's the mostly cloudy sky that we'll have through the day tomorrow as temperatures try to get to near that freezing mark for Christmas. So again, we're going to have some snow Christmas Eve. Wake up Christmas morning. We'll have a mostly cloudy sky and temperatures staying steady in the 30s. I was hoping to bring some of that warm weather over to our holiday, but it doesn't look like the case. You're one of the ones that probably doesn't. I know some people yeah. have wanted a white Christmas, so they will be happy at the least. Well, at least someone's happy. Thank <laughs> you so much, David. And after the break, highlights from a busy day in college.